SOC displays or smart TVs have long been a part of our daily lives, replacing outdated TVs in our homes and being the obvious choice when deploying a digital signage project. Despite this, streaming devices, which essentially duplicate the multimedia features of these displays, are still a popular choice for millions of users around the world. Hi everyone, this is Gabriel and you're watching the Look Digital Signage channel where we talk about everything related to digital signage screens in one way or another. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell to stay updated. Great, so now to the point. Today we have a review of two devices at once, which many consider as a cheap alternative to professional digital signage players. Well, our task today is to find out if they are actually worth using in this kind of installation or not. So today we're evaluating two popular models from the same manufacturer. These are the Xiaomi TV Stick 4K and the Xiaomi TV Box S of the second generation. Traditionally, we'll begin with the unpacking. Then compare the specifications, arrange load testing and draw the conclusion. So let's go guys. The packaging actually is as simple as possible, even compared to the analogs, such as the Amazon Fire TV Stick Max, and not to mention devices from higher price segments. By the way, we recently published a similar review on Fire Stick. You can see the link on the screen right now. So take a look if you haven't already. Well, getting back to the packaging, I would say that the stick looks even more interesting inside than the box. The kits contain the usual set for this type of device. There are no surprises here. We have the device itself, power supply, remote, manual and HDMI cable. In the case of the stick, it's an HDMI extender for obvious reasons. And one more to note. There are no nice little things such as batteries for the remote in this kit, unlike the same Fire Stick for example, next to the specifications. You see a comparison table on the screen. Concerning the main parameters, everything is as similar as possible. 4K support, memory still has the same extremely unimpressive 2GB of RAM and 8GB of storage. Among the differences, it can be noted that the box received the same 4-core but slightly more recent Cortex-A55, which is logical given that it went on sale much later than the stick. Also, devices are powered by different operating systems. Android 11 in the case of the stick and Google TV for the box. Next, from the important. Despite the fact that both devices have dual band Wi-Fi, the TV box is undoubtedly the leader in terms of quality and speed. According to tests, the stick produces only 26 megabytes per second in the 2.4 gigahertz range, while the box does 56. Accordingly, we can conclude that it will be more difficult for the stick to cope with streaming content, especially in 4K resolution, which of course we'll check later during the tests. Now to the ports. With the stick, everything is completely simple. It has an HDMI connector and micro USB for power. Box has a little more option. In addition to HDMI and power, there's also a USB 2.0 and audio output. Well, it's time for testing. We go to the Google Play Store, find, install and launch the Look app. Then add the resulting code to Look Content Manager. As usual, we utilize a scenario with 4K video and several units of streaming content. In fact, despite the difference in Wi-Fi speed that I mentioned above, the devices cope with the task in nearly the same way. Overall, everything was good. However, the addition of YouTube 4K video changes the situation. On both devices, the video itself and, for example, the RSS sticker begin to twitch noticeably. Now to the conclusion. If you are on a budget and do not have the opportunity to consider professional media players or SOC displays for your digital signage project, Xiaomi devices may be the solution for you, especially if you don't need to constantly play a lot of streaming content at the same time. So which device to choose? Well, if we take into account that the price of these devices is almost identical, about 60 US dollars, I would still recommend choosing the box due to a number of small but still advantages that we talked about previously. Well, you should choose a stick most likely in case when there's not enough space behind the TV or there is a 
have no additional socket, for example. Here, the compact stick, which among other things can be powered by the TV itself, will of course become a much better option. And as usual, I hasten to remind you that no matter what device you choose for your project, simple and reliable digital signage software will become an indispensable tool for remote content management. Try Look DS with a 14-day free trial or book a personal demo to learn about all the platform's powerful features firsthand. Well, that's all for today. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and take care. See you in the next video. Bye.